，各位朋友注意，三二一，阿顺。Hello, everyone. This is Rose, and my partner is Rick. Today, we would like to introduce our new generations of lithium battery products. It is a lithium iron phosphate battery with a voltage rating of 51.2 volt, capacity of 100 ampere hours, and 5.1 kilowatt hours. Many go cars. Which gopers can use it, Rick? Yes, this is our latest lithium battery product designed by Xcard. Mm -hmm. It can completely replace the lead Edison battery and its driving range is equal to Trojan TA75. This battery is suitable for most golf cars in the market, including Cupcars IQ, President, Easy Ghost RSV, and Yamaha. Of course, when used in Xcard's golf cars, there will be better performance because we have real right communication between the battery system and the controller. It has a small size, it can be perfectly fit in the existing battery train. Yet, its overall size is about 20 inches long and 13 inches wide and 10 inches high. Rick, uh, what are the components of the battery? Well, the battery is composed of five parts. The battery bus, the BMS bus, the battery indicator, and the charger, the mounting bracket. The battery bus is punching and welded by metal. There are four mounting points in the bottom, and which are fixed by M8 screws. The BMS bus is separated from the battery bus by injection molding plastic and attached to any side of the battery bus. And the battery indicator is a traditional 10 bar LED light. It's just like the traditional Li Legacy battery charger. It has the same size, so it will be very easy to install it. Just remove the old one and install the old one. That's it. And the charger, it's a 25 amp intelligent charger. It has 110 to 220 volt AC input. For the bracket, we have many times. We have the Kupka IQ and Easy Goes and Presidents. And sure, this is for our x class charger. Yes, yeah, and why should we call this a smart charger? Because it also communicates with the BMS and because it is controlled by the BMS and it will be intelligent and also it got a UL certificate. Oh. oh, I understand. With the charging current of 25 amperes, it should be fully charged in 4 hours. Is that right? Yes, theoretically. But mostly it will be shorter than 4 hours because no one will really drain out of the battery to empty it. Okay, and I also noticed there are quite few pores on the lithium battery pads. Could you explain the functions? All right. There are five terminals on the battery bus. There are the P positive and P negative. This is a discharge port. And the C positive is the charging port. And these two terminals is the signal terminal to connect to the BMS bus. And the charging terminal is a additional terminal only existing in the lithium system. It's not existing in the legacy battery system. Please notice, there is also another safety valve on the side to release the air pressure inside the battery box. Mm -hmm. And if you notice, the BMS box is very simple because only one cable gets out from the BMS box. And how should we install the battery pack to the car? Well, before installing on your golf cart, you need to choose a suitable mounting bracket. Then fix the bracket in the battery tray button. Then put the battery box on it and fix it. That's it. And then connect all the cable to the car positive, negative, and the charging positive, negative. And finally, connect these two terminals to your BMS box. And that's it. Yes, and can you connect the batteries now and let us see how the battery starts? Yeah, sure. We first we connect the terminals. 
I already did it, okay? We put it on it. And then if we want to stop it, we have two steps. The first step, we press the on off button, which is a toggle button. And then I press the start button, which is momentary button. Then we'll hear click, click, twice to sound. That means the battery now is started. And at this time, you can measure the voltage through the discharge port, but no voltage on the charging port. But no voltage on charging terminal. How to start the charger? But this is a good question. The start signal to start charger is not only from the voltage, it's also from the communication cable. This is small cable. When the charger got the AC power, it will talk to the BMS automatically and the BMS will engage the solenoid to start charging. Now we can try to show you how to start charging, okay? First of all, let me plug in the AC power. Oh, yes. And then I plug in the communication cable. Okay, when I plug in, we hear the sound click click. And also, I plug in the indicator. Now it's charging. That's it. Yeah, but how how can we know the charge already been stopped or not? Well, sure. When the charger got AC power, the small LED on the charger body will light up. And when charging normally, the LED light will flashing green. Mm -hmm. And also, at the meantime, if you notice the battery indicator, the indicator is flashing in red. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, keep in mind, no matter whether the battery has been started or not, as long as you plug in the AC power of the charger, the charge process will start automatically. We can try them. If now, now it's charging, if I turn off the on-off button, let's see what happened. Nothing, because now the charger already powered on the BMS to charge the battery. Well, it's simple road. Christian means charging. Right. And so the LED means finish. Right. And so this is different from the lead AC battery indicator, which only reset when full charge. Yes. And how about if the BMS raise a fault? The focal will be also displayed on this indicator? Yes, because the battery indicator is communicated through the can to BMS accurately and completely. Okay, I think now the batteries already start normally now. And what will happen if we keep this like this? It will sleep. If you park your golf car for some days, mm -hmm. the battery system will cut off itself automatically. But for the long-term storage, I recommend you turn off the on-off button. If you forget to do it, the BMS will do it for you. Wow, well, it sounds great. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that's all for today's video. Looking for you to see you in the next video. Thanks, Rick, and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Okay, bye. Cut. Thank you.